Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Nakusa and another night of high school basketball. Girls take the court this evening. As the Boston Golden Eagles come to town, they'll take on the Papermakers in South Central Conference basketball action. My name is Tom Kirst. Along with me to offer his commentary is Mr. Daniel Schmidt. Behind the camera to my left, Mr. Jim Allen. We're certainly glad you could join us for this Nakusa Sports Telecast. Our thanks goes out, as always, to Nakusa High School and River City's Community Access for helping us make telecasts of NHS sports possible. Well, the league schedule kicks into full gear tonight with two conference title contenders meeting and this early season showdown. Nakusa enjoyed a great season a year ago and they look to continue that success this evening. Boston, on the other hand, returns a lot of scoring punch from last season. So we'll put the papermakers to a real test. Expect a very entertaining game tonight between these conference rivals. Boston finished 7 and 16 last season. Golden Eagles were 2 and 8 in the South Central, finishing 5th in the 16 conference. Boston has played once this year, tapping Portage 52-35 last Tuesday in a game played at Boston. Heading this year's squad is senior guard Andrea Thomas. Thomas led the league in scoring a year ago with an 18-point scoring average. So off to a great start this year, putting up a game-high 26 in that win over Portage. Also back is senior Carly Johnson. Johnson averaged a little over 10 points a game last season for the Golden Eagles. Nakusa had a great year last year. They finished 19 and 8 overall. And WIA tournament play, papermakers had quite a run, advanced all the way to the sectional finals before dropping that final ball game to Lodi. This year, Nakusa is off to a 1 and 1 start. They started the season with a 62 22 decision, or loss, I should say, to a very, very good Nielsville team. Papermakers followed, followed that up with a 58-30 win over Pittsville last Friday, a game played in the Assumption Cranberry Classic Tournament. Nakusa Pep Band, under the direction of Mr. Jeff LaRose, is also playing the bass drum tonight. Band located across the way here in the Nakusa Gym. Time to make uh, meet tonight's starters, Forrest Moss, and they will start Maria Teske. She is a junior. Number 10, Carly Johnson, the senior. 12 is 5'7", senior, Elena Lowerson. Fourth starter is Katie Nelson. She's a senior. And of course, Andrea Thomas, a 5'4 senior. And Thomas with 26 points in that, her first game of this 2013-14 season. Now it's time to meet the seniors of Nakusa High School. Starters, Lexi Bros, the 5'5 senior. Desiree Shu, a 5'8 senior. She wears number five. Taylor Hazelmeyer, where's number 23? She's a 5'7 senior. Rachel Coyer, a 5'8 senior, where's number 25? And starter number five for Nakusa, Anna Schubert, a 6'0 junior. 
Austin coached by Mr. Lor uh, make that Ms. Lori Hammer. Kusa, of course, coached by Mr. Scott Linsmeyer. Scott, in his sixth season, brings a 79 and 42 coaching mark into tonight's ball game. Of course, assisting Scott this year, uh, back for his sixth year, Mr. Chris Stensberg. Well, Dan, game number one of the conference season, it's a big game. And both of these teams have potential, and they have a real shot at a conference title, I think, this year. Yeah, I think, it's just like the boys team, I think. I think this conference is wide open, both boys and girls, for any team. I don't think there's an outstanding team. I think it's well balanced. I, uh, on the girls' side, I guess the Adams Friendship team is uh, probably a favorite simply because of the uh, Rowenberg girl coming back for her, what, junior year or senior year? I can't remember. Junior year. Now, both these teams here are veteran teams. Mawson's a veteran team, and so is Nakusa. I mean, there's only one junior on the floor. All the rest are seniors. Three misses for Mawson. They're going to try it again. That's four. Nakusa not rebounding too well out of the shoot. Finally, Katie Nelson puts Nakusa out of their misery. Papermakers with the basketball trailing by two. Boy, you got to do a better job on the boards. I got to say, that, Coach Lonsmeyer huh? can't be happy with that sequence. Mawson man-to-man -man defensively. Nakusa did a good job of getting it to Hazelmeyer inside. Coming back the other way was Thomas. Good pass, but a miss this time by Nelson. And it's going to be Nakusa basketball. Nakusa opened the season with a 40-point loss, but that was to a very, very good Nielsville team who was probably going to be ranked one or two in their division throughout the year. Finished, uh, I think they were runner-up runner up last year in the state tournament in their division. And Nakusa played a Pittsville team, which has struggled the last few years. And Nakusa had their problems there, too. Finally woke up in the fourth period to get a comfortable win. Hazelmeyer trying to put back the Bros miss. Saves it outside to Anna Schubert. Coyer for three. Rachel Coyer starts the scoring for Nakusa. Papermakers on top. 3 2, 6 40 to play here in the first quarter. Carly Johnson with the miss. Coyer with the rebound for Nakusa. Schubert up the court, tried to get it to Brost. And it's going to be Nakusa basketball right in front of. The Boston bench. Tom, do you think that sometimes when you're a senior and you've been playing for three, four years on varsity that you get complacent? I, I think it's possible. I can think of my son. <laughs> I can think he was pretty complacent his senior year. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the summer leading up to it. Yeah. Thinking your veteran team coming back, your one game from going to state last year. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it could be. You know, maybe you think you're a little bit better than you are. Yeah, people got high expectations, I think. And the other teams are shooting for you. Think of it that way. Elena Lowerson picked up the foul. Lexi Brost will get one more. Lexi, a very good foul shooter. Averaged 13 a game last year for Nakusa. 5-2 Nakusa Lee. On a cold, well, it's not that cold, but it's certainly a snowy and wet night here in central Wisconsin. Our first little snow of the year. More chances for Austin. Carly Johnson, 5-4 Nakusa lead. Not that we keep track of them, but I would say Austin has about seven offensive rebounds in the first two minutes. Bad pass there as Hazelmeyer tried to force it a bit. Well, they have eight shots, Tom, and they've only been down in that end twice, so that'll tell you something. And Austin gives it right back with a bad pass. Boys played here last night against uh, Medford, Monday night game. Boys suffered their first loss of the season, 59-50 to the, I'm not sure what the- Raiders. Are they called the Ra Raiders now? Maybe yep. not the Red Raiders anymore, no, just, just uh, the Raiders. Raiders. Hey, Lexi with a nice drive. She's got four, and Akusa up by three. That was sort of fun watching the boys at the Cranberry Classic last weekend. Playing pretty well. Hazelmeyer down the right side, one-on-one -on -one against Thomas. Thomas cuts her off, back outside to Schubert. 
thing about basketball, Tom, it's a lot faster game than football. Anna lost it, and I believe Anna's going to get the foul trying to get that ball back. Yeah, it's warmer too, isn't it? Yeah. It's comfortable too. You sit at this nice little table. You don't have to stand up for two hours. <laughs> but it was a good football season. Oh, it was a great year. And how about, uh, why, not why we go? Who did we lose to? Winnicott. Winnicott, yeah. yeah. That's something I think went all the way. Yep. Yeah, I guess they were the first uh, 60 team to ever take state. Yeah, probably last uh, first one to even play in a championship game. Nakusa lets Ooh. the ball get inside. Nakusa just looks sort of lethargic right now. I don't know if that was tipped or. Lexi Taylor Hazelmeyer misses the 12-footer. Good hitter. shot, though. And Lowerson with the rebound. Thomas the other way. Just inside that three-point line, she knocks her shot down. 7-6, Nakusa. You know, Thomas looks like a little different player to me this year, too, for Austin. Foul coming up on Lowerson. No, make that uh, Katie Nelson, I'm sorry, number 15. But Thomas just, she looks more intense here. She's coming out. Well, no, it's not her. No. She didn't grow any, though. <clears throat> no, not at all, but, but she looks... Much more into it than she did last season. That's senior year. Yeah, can work both ways, right? 41, Mallory Melvin in the game now for Nakusa. That's Mallory who had her shot blocked by number, who blocked that shot, 20? It's gonna try it again. Lowerson with the rebound. Thomas with it now. Nakusa gets back nicely on defense. Thomas, little push off on Brost. Trying to clear some space. Johnson with a miss. Thomas outfights Bros for the basketball, misses the shot. Now she outfights Schubert and puts it in. I'm sorry to say it, but that comes down to who wants it more. Yeah. Uh, and Andrea Thomas wanted it. Their shooting percentage isn't going to be that great, but boy, I tell you, they're sure getting the, the <laughs> shots. Hey, there's a good look. Desiree Shu, her first field goal. That's a three ball. And Akusa somehow on top in this game. Lost in turnover. Lexi left it short. Hazelmeyer, oh, had an easy shot. Yep. Hit the bottom of the rim, and now we're going to get a held ball. It's going to be Nakusa basketball. These two teams played twice last season. Nakusa won both times, 63-39 at Boston and 45-38 here in Nakusa. That second game here in Nakusa was a late season game and Boston really had Nakusa on the ropes in that game. Nakusa lucky to come out on top. Shu will try it again, a little bit long. Schubert kept it alive, chased it down. Haley Baker in the ball game now for Nakusa. She drops it inside to Shu, and another Mostyn foul. 21, Daytona Bolton gets her first foul. Bolton comes in off the bench. She's a freshman. Again, they set the screen for Shu. Mostyn does a good job of recovering this time. Shu. Brose tussles down the rebound. Lexi fighting off the Golden Eagles and then takes a timeout. 2.44 to play here in the first quarter. 10 8. Nakusa. So Nakusa will inbound. End line. Desiree Shu with a basketball. Austin is man to man, but they're really helping a lot in the middle. Trying to take that lane away from Nakusa. Shu fires a three, that's off. Chased down by Carly Johnson. No, she couldn't handle it. Looked like a pretty easy grab there for Carly, but took her eye off the basketball. Brittany Ryan, a 5'4 senior, checks in now for Coach Linsmeyer. 
So right now, Nakusa with Brost, Ryan, Baker, Melvin, and Shu in the ball game. I don't remember Brittany from last year. A JVs or varsity? I can't say I, I do either. She has a basketball now. She also has a wrap on her knee. Maybe we got her in a trade. <laughs> Player to be named later, huh? Hey, how hey, about that? There we go. Haley Baker knocks down the long two. 5'7", senior with her first basket. 12-8, Nakusa. Two minutes to play first quarter. Yeah, what I like about Nakusa so far is... Hey, that how about they, that, huh? That they, uh, the girl that's open is taking a shot. Michaela Teske knocked down that three a second ago. Shoe. Baker hustling after the basketball lost. It's going to be Nakusa ball, though. Excuse me, that was Melvin hustling after the basketball. Both these teams using their bench here in the first quarter. Nakusa's played nine here in the first quarter. And Mauston has played eight, I believe. Number four, Michaela Teske with a foul. I got one more point for us than uh, they show up there. I got 13. Did Lexi just make that free throw? She yes. did, didn't she? Maybe well, I'm Daniel, I've got four plus six. I got 13 now. Yep. Uh, but after that last make by Lexi. Maybe I got a three that wasn't supposed to be a three. The, the Baker shot was a two. Oh, it was. Okay. Field. Okay. Baker was a two? Yep. Okay. So Lexi now four out of four from the line. Nakusa up by three at 14 11. Long three ball by Thomas. That was out there. She launched that thing effortlessly, too. Shoe back on top to Melvin. Mallory in and out. Ryan with the rebound. Lexi in the land of giants back outside. Little contact, no foul either way. And Mauston with the basketball. Both teams have taken pretty good care of the basketball here in the first quarter as Thomas sails it out of bounds. <laughs> no sooner do you say that. I thought, well, yeah. <clears throat> I think that's three turnovers now for Austin, two for Nakusa. But neither team pressuring the court. They're both playing half court defense. I think you'll see Nakusa go to some type of full court pressure sooner or later. Hey, there's a oh. nice pass. Coyer puts it in. So Coyer gets the two. Nice assist from Desiree Shu. 16-11, 40 seconds to play in the quarter. Mariah Teske. Talissa Voss. Long ball on the way by Johnson. And a good position inside by Mallory Melvin. And a foul on Daytona Bolton. That's her second. I've got five team fouls now from Austin, only one for Nakusa. That's correct, Tom. That's what the scoreboard has. That's not, that is unusual where I could agree with the scoreboard, isn't it? Or the <laughs> scorebook. 18 seconds to play. We hear Coach Linsmeyer saying play for one as they go inside and score. <laughs> yeah, that was a good, she had to take that. Melvin um, with the two, it's her first bucket, seven seconds. Thomas is going to launch a shot. No. She gives it up to Teske. And Mariah with the miss. Shoe with the rebound. And the first quarter is in the books. So a shaky start for Nakusa. But hey, they come on in the last four minutes. After one, our score, Nakusa 18 and Mauston 11. Going to be Mauston basketball to start period number two. Lexi Brost with six points in that first quarter. Anna Schubert, five. Desiree Shoe with three. And Mallory Melvin and Haley Baker each with two for Nakusa. Put up a lot of shots that quarter, Tom. Nakusa was 6 of 17 for 35%. And Mawson was 5 of 16 for 31%. So there was 33 shots put up that quarter. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of uh, passing going on in the uh, front court. A lot of shooting going on, though. Hazelmeyer chases down the rebound. That last foul, by the way, was on Rachel Coyer, her first. Lexi 
with a left hand, puts it down. They're going to call an offensive foul on Roast. Don't count, right? No, the basket does not count. Or the shot. Thunk, 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 Dan. Would you love to have a wireless headset, huh? Yeah, well, the cord got caught up in the speaker thing. Yeah, here you go. Lexi's uh, first, first foul, by the way. Travel. Sure enough. Mosta in the first quarter scoring goes this way. Andrea Thomas with four, Michaela Teske with three, and Carly Johnson and Katie Nelson both with two. No scoring yet here in the second period. We played about 50 seconds. Had a couple of turnovers though. Lexi, oh, she could finish that oh, one. Nice Instead, pass. she hands it off to Taylor Hazelmeyer for her first bucket. Akusa with a nine point lead. Trying to go inside. Larson got a hand on it, and she was the last to touch it. So Nakusa gets it right back. Morgan Denton, the sophomore, checks in the game for Boston. Last night, that game against Medford, that number 21 that scored uh, 30, uh, 27 points for uh, Medford, he never sat down once in the game. I don't think Owen sits much either. Nakusa and Owen, yeah, you told me he had 23 again last night? Yeah. Mallory Melvin with a nice little eight footer. 22 11. Nakusa with 11 point advantage. I, I don't know what his shooting percentage was, though, Tom. He he was. Uh, Put up a share of he, shots. He huh? was one for nine starting out the game. Katie Nelson with her second basket. 22 13. Rachel Coyer bounced it off her foot. Picked up by Mariah Teske, and she takes it the distance. So Mariah Teske with her first basket. Two Teskes on the team, Mariah and Michaela. I'm thinking they just might be sisters. Maybe even twins, huh? Same grade. You betcha. Coyer with a miss inside. Lowerson with a rebound. Thomas quickly down the court. Mariah Teske does it again. Banks in the shot. This time she draws the foul also on Mallory Melvin. And she'll have a shot at the three-point play here. Three points the hard way. Well, they cut a nine-point lead down to... I believe it's seven now, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think they posted their last basket yet. I don't think so either. Yep. Thomas. Now they have, so it's a five-point game right now. Yeah. And Teske with a chance. Misses the shot. Boy, well, you got you got to hustle after that ball. Denton yeah. did hustle after that ball. Nakusa got the tip pass. Amber Wolf just in the ball game. Amber, a senior. Missed the three. Here comes Lexi the other way. Wolf had the shot. Going to pull it back out to Hazelmeyer, right back to Wolf. Amber. Way too many passes. Lost it off her foot. Yeah, I agree. Amber had Great. a couple of yep. chances at a shot there. And Makusa doesn't even get one off. Four forty to play in the half. Shoe tips that pass out of bounds. Haley Baker back in the game for Nakusa. So Baker, Schubert, Wolf, Shoe, and Brost in the game right now for Nakusa. Thomas holds it up high. 
That's a really good matchup, isn't it? Lexi against Thomas. Hey, how about that? Carly Johnson drills a long three ball. It's a two-point game now at 22-20. Yeah. Boston made her last four shots. It was an 11-point lead. Boston with the last nine in this game. Not a lot of movement. Schubert, tough shot there. Haley Baker <laughs> saves the day, puts it down, breaks that streak of nine now. Nakusa back up by four. Haley with four also. Quick shot by Michaela Teske, pulled down by Haley. Three forty to play here in the half. Baker with a miss this time, and Michaela Teske with a rebound. Well, the Teskies are not big by any means. Probably about five foot two. And not a whole lot of weight on them. I wish I had that problem. Yeah, don't we all? The way I'm going, I'll be five foot two in a couple of years, but. <laughs> Tipped out of bounds by Schubert. Now we've seen some of these girls play four years for Nakusa now. Lexi and uh, Desiree for certain. And it seems like Taylor Hazelmeyer. Taylor Hazelmeyer, yes. Saw some minutes as a freshman also. Three ball, almost oh, banked in, out. comes right to Schubert. Anna down the court to Lexi. Roast with a good move, missed the shot though. Hazelmeyer can't get it, Teske does. Double teamed in the corner, tied up. It's going to be Nakusa basketball. Three minutes to play here in the quarter. Shoe on top to Schubert. Right back to Desiree. Inside, oh, Hazelmeyer. Cross court, again, maybe one too many passes. I agree, Tom. Especially the one that uh, Lexi took on this side, or was that Hazelmeyer? Had a nice little shot. Why take that extra dribble right into the defender? Schubert knocks that one out of bounds. She wanted to make a statement that time. It's like a volleyball move that time, yeah. a spike. They had a pretty good year in volleyball, too, this year. Yeah, they did. Another three ball. Carly Johnson, her second. It's a one-point game at 24-23. Schubert catches it on the run, takes it to the basket, and before the shot, they're going to call the foul. Team foul number six on Mauston, and it goes on number four, Michaela Teske. So Nakusa in the bonus now the rest of the quarter. Of course, they'll inbound on this particular possession. We're waiting on something. Something in the stands or something. Oh, they're checking on bonus. Oh. Apparently they must have had seven up there and they subtracted it. Oh. Schubert. Anna, strong move. Good rebound by Morgan Denton. Thomas the other way. Johnson inside. Looks like she went for a little walk there. Got tied up. It'll still be uh, Mauston basketball. Sure does appear that Andrea Thomas is a pretty good supporting cast this year. 
it's not just her that has to score for this team, though she fires it here and hits a long two. Hey, Mostyn back in the lead. They were down by 11. Thomas now with six. Schubert fires the long two. Hustled down by Voss for the Golden Eagles. Minute 40 to play. Quick shot missed by Johnson. And I think Hazelmeyer is going to get the Nakusa foul. She reaches in. Team foul five on Nakusa. Nobody with more than one. That's the good news. And of course, Boston still two fouls away from the bonus. Thomas. Looks like they're double teaming her, Tom, every time she gets the ball. All right now, Nakusa's 2 3 zone <clears throat> because of the out of bounds situation. Taylor. Nice move, Taylor. Shoe. Desiree with a good putback. She's got five. Nakusa back on top. At 26 25, we're approaching the one minute mark of this first half. Johnson drops it off. Denton with the miss. And a Austin foul. It's going to be free throws from the Nakusa papermakers on the other end. Number 10, Carly Johnson gets the foul, according to Mr. Bilo. Fifty-six seconds to play at here in the half. Boston has now used ten players in this game. Nakusa nine. Shoe misses the first. Nobody blocks off Schubert, though, and Akusa gets it back. But throws it out of bounds. Can't stand prosperity sometime, right? No, I agree with you, Tom. The more you got, the more you spend. 45 seconds to play and a half. Late whistle, Nelson was fouled? No, they're gonna say a held ball. Held ball. That really doesn't help Nakusa. They would have had the ball anyway. Now they have to give up a, a possession to get the basketball. That's all right if we go down and make it three, Tom. Up by one, 30 seconds to play in a half. Tip ball, picked out of the air by Schubert. Baker inside to Lexi, got it. Lexi goes over the taller player. Get her second field goal. Nakusa by three, 10 seconds to play in the quarter and the half. Thomas with five seconds. She walks. Good job by Bros playing defense. Thomas tried to create a little room. Still 2.2 .2 seconds to play in the quarter. Rachel Coyer is going to check back in for Nakusa. Lexi got it off. Short in the first half is history. So a good first half of basketball action. In the South Central Conference battle. Our score heading into the locker room. Nakusa 28. And Mostyn 25. Upon us already. And Mostyn has the basketball, 28-25, Nakusa lead. Dan, what did the shooting look like in that first half? Okay, in the first half, Nakusa in that second quarter was 5 of 14 for 36% for the half. They were 11 of 31 for 35%. Mostyn in the second quarter was 6 of 16 for 50%. They picked up their shooting. And for the first half, they were 11 of 28 for 39%. Boy, it amazes me. Nakusa outshot, meaning had more shots than Boston in that half, to where the game started. That's a good feed inside to Rachel Coyer. Was that a two or three, Tom? That would be a two. Okay. 
the way the game started with Mostyn getting off like seven or eight shots in the first minute. First possession. First two possessions. Yeah, and then Nakusa still has more shots at halftime. Choir now with the rebound. Nakusa with an advantage. Shoe ahead of the crowd. Lays it down. Good you got to remember, Tom, all my uh, stats are unofficial. <laughs> well, you know, there's nobody else keeping them, so <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I, th I think we go with your stats. <laughs> By the way, Lexi Burroughs led Nakusa in the first half with eight points. Carly Johnson had eight for Mostyn. Schubert with another block. You know, I'll tell you the truth, Tom, I didn't even see Lexi, like you say. Lexi's fouled going up. She scored eight points on high score, but you... She only had two field goals. Yeah. You never even noticed it. Foul went on who? Number three? Mariah Teske. And Lexi, who is perfect. You know, she's the only uh, player to have shot a free throw tonight. For either team. It's now five out of five. Did she miss one in the second quarter? No, sir. Lawson missed one, too, I got. I don't know what. Lexi makes a pair. Well, you know, you're right there. Boston did miss a free throw. The girl that had a three-point play opportunity, was it... Uh, I think it was Mariah Teske. She missed a free throw in the first half yeah, of Boston. Johnson, I don't think you can give her that shot. No, I agree. She's a pretty good shooter. That's her third three ball. Kusa quickly down the court. Coyer inside, and she is grabbed by number three. Yes, number three, Maria, Mar Mariah Teske with her second foul. Boston with three here in the quarter already. We've only played about two minutes. Picked off by Carly Johnson. Oh, I forced the ball in there. It wasn't there. Tip ball into the corner. Lowerson back on top. 15 wants it. Johnson tried to get it off. And Schubert with her third block. Austin inbounds. Thomas looked like she might have walked there. Missed the shot, got her own rebound. Good play by Hazelmeyer. We've had quite a few blocks this game, Tom. Yep. Schubert way off with the three. Coyer can't get the ball over Johnson. Thomas. Boy, Lexi did a nice job of playing Thomas that time. Two or three. Teammate. That's a two for Daytona sure. Bolton. That's her first basket. Nakusa beats the Golden Eagles down the court. And Desiree Shu is going to go to the line. Katie Nelson picks up her second. Team fourth now on Boston. It's going to turn into a lot of free throws down the stretch for Nakusa. Desiree, another good foul shooter, nails the first. She's got eight points. And now nine. I was watching Coach Lensmeyer. He's pretty, uh, pretty calm this game. Well, he's up and around right now. The wheels are turning. I'm just surprised Akusa hasn't pressured the basketball tonight. I really thought we'd see that out of this team. As Boston with an unforced error there. Cross court to shoot. Don't like that pass. You don't like those skip passes? Well, not that far. Now that one uh, was telegraphed just a bit and evidently Hazelmeyer had her hand on it last. It's gonna go to Boston. Who's the fans not too fond of that last call? Uh, they say it was tipped twice. And we tipped it last. I, 
I didn't see. Look out. Daytona Bolton is warming up. Was that a two? Yes. Well, she said a couple of long twos here. Pretty much the same spot. Which tells me one thing, you can't let her have that spot. You know, she is only a freshman. Got a nice looking stroke there. Lexi got bumped, but still made the shot. 38-32, according to the scoreboard. And Hazelmeyer with the reaching foul, her second. 424 to play, third quarter. Nakusa by six, as Haley Baker checks back in. She'll replace Rachel Coyer. Oh, excuse me, that's not Haley Baker, that's Mallory Melvin. It's oh. early in the season. And Akusa falls asleep. You know, that's the reason you play that 2-3 zone, is to, to sink down in the middle and prevent the easy one. And Akusa didn't do a very good job there. Not at all, Tom. Melvin picks up her second. Carly Johnson will get one more. Carly with 11 points in this contest. Leads the Golden Eagles right now. She's got three three balls. Maybe she should step back behind the arc there and shoot these free throws. Oh, again, oh come on. You've got to get that rebound. That's just a case of not blocking off again or being aggressive from that second rebound. I agree, position. Tom. Lexi didn't know it was coming. Hazelmeyer with the offensive foul. That's number three now on Taylor. Good position by the Austin player. I'm not sure the Austin player wasn't moving, but. Austin with another substitution. I believe Michaela Teske just checked back in. They never play the Tusky girls together, do they? Three and four? Maybe there's a rule. That looked like a walk. Boy, oh boy. The freshman has been a difference here in the second half. She's got six here in the third quarter. Nakusa up by four. Schubert. Misses the three. Michaela Teske with the rebound. Lexi takes it away. Lexi fouled by Teske. By Carly Johnson took a tough foul there. A fall. She picks herself up again. Third foul on Michaela Teske. And back to the line. Lexi Brost. The hoop just didn't want it. She'll get one more. Hazelmeyer out. Brittany Ryan back in for Nakusa, and Coach Linsmeyer is going to take a timeout. Four point game, 327 to play in the quarter. More basketball this week. We're going to be back in the Nakusa gym on Friday of this week, which is the uh, 6th of December, as the Boston boys come to town to take on the Nakusa boys, of course. Should be a very interesting ball game. And again, a conference game. That'll be the first for the boys. The boys, by the way, well, let's jump to the girls. The girls will play again this week on Thursday, the 5th of December. They travel to Blair Taylor for another ball game. JV girls won tonight, Tom, 30 to 22. And since we don't have a freshman team, no score. There we go. Lexi makes the second. Thirty-nine, thirty-four. See if Nakusa goes to a little full court pressure now. Well, the freshman, I think it's away with some walks when she starts dribbling the basketball. Melvin, they're just a tad late on that pass. She has three fouls now. Let's see how we do on this inbounds this time, Tom. You got to talk, number one, and you also got to keep looking around you. 
And see, the thing I don't see is talking. Schubert with another block. That time, Shu actually got beat on a backdoor cut. And you don't want to do that. You want to collapse the middle. Give up the outside pass and then go out and Travel. play the girl. Now she's finally got called for it. And again, I think she's doing it every time she puts the ball on the floor. 3.02 to play yet here in the third. Nakusa by five at 39-34. Shu fouled on her way to the basket. Team foul number six on Mostyn. It'll be out of bounds to Nakusa. 21, Daytona Bolton with her third. Desiree Shu will put it in play. Let's see if we got a backdoor play. No, we got a front door play. Try to set the screen for Shu, who put the ball in bounds originally. Mostyn played it quite well. Baker trying to post inside. I think Desiree wanted to shoot that. Lexi kicks it back out. Schubert fires another three ball. Lexi with a good rebound. Had it blocked away though by Bolton. And it's gonna be Boston basketball, I believe. I'm not sure I don't quite understand the call right now. It's gonna I, be Boston I really, basketball. I really thought she traveled, but. Scoring has slowed down a bit here, Dan. Teske back to Thomas. Thomas has been quiet here in the second half. There's the freshman again, this time in and out. And we're gonna get a foul on Thomas as she pulls down. That's what I want. Roast. Andrea Thomas with her second, as Dan said, seven team fouls now. Lexi back to the line. She's been there quite a bit tonight, hasn't she? Yes, she has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times she's made eight. It's not bad. Okay, that's darn good. Thomas takes his seat. Replaced by the other Teske. Puts the pox on her, Tom. So both Teske's in the game now. Three and four, Mariah and Michaela. And they are twins. I've studied the issue. They are twins. Uh, Andrea Thomas is out of game. You wonder. Oh, bad pass. Baker had it and dropped it. Had to go off her leg. You think it's time to make hay now with uh, Thomas out of the game? Yes. I think if you're going to. Well, too late. Well, she's out for a good six or seven seconds. Comes back in now for Bolton. I don't know if Nakusa knows what they're running here for defense. It's like some are playing man to man, some, some are playing. <laughs> oh, I see it's a box and one. So it's a four person zone right now and Lexi is gonna stay with Thomas wherever she goes on the court. Why well, Nakusa had a good double team but Schubert yep. started reaching. Reaching in. And that was the end of the double team. We get a foul instead. She didn't have to do that either. No, they had a good trap and a good location. Team foul number five on Nakusa. Oh. Again, way too easy. Schubert with another block. 
Good pass. Ryan lays it down. Brittany Ryan, a good feed from Desiree Shue. Nakusa back up by eight at 42-34. Shue got a hand on it. You know, if she wouldn't have got a hand on it, I would have went out of bounds. I think so, too. They were trying to get the ball to uh, Elena Lowerson, but that was going to be a tough play for Lowerson. Uh, official coming over to the scoring table now. I think it's second fouls. Either fouls or he's checking the score. Well, they don't keep track of the score. I, I can't see where he'd be questioning the score. Well, I thought maybe Mostyn was questioning the score. Oh. But no. Oh, look at There we go again. Wow. This is a senior team, too. That's what makes it a little bit frustrating. Well, I agree, Tom. The first I, basket. Shouldn't sh I mean, how many inbound situations have these girls been in in the last four years? Shoo! Misses the three. Baker can't get it. And Mostyn with it. Down by six. 30 seconds to play in the quarter. Teske. 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 Teske finally puts it up. Schubert with a rebound. 15 seconds to play. Got a lot of time. No Lexi. hurry. Said I might as well score now, huh? Five seconds. Thomas. No foul. And that's going to wrap up the quarter. So Nakusa maintains their advantage. We're heading to the fourth. Nakusa on top, 44 36. Quarter, Nakusa was five out of nine for 56 percent, and Mawson was five out of ten for 50 percent. So, shooting has picked up. Ooh. They missed there. Missed three shots that time. And shoot with another one. And we're going to get a Mawson foul, I believe. No, it went on Nakusa. Yeah, we didn't take that many shots. Neither team took many shots that quarter. Ten and nine. Desiree picks up her first foul of the game. And Akusa outscored uh, Mawson 19 to, uh, excuse me, six, 16, 16 11. to 11 in that yeah. third quarter. Good pass. Schubert maybe got a piece of that one, too. Boy, yeah, I, she's I, dodging some fouls the way she swings or swats at the basketball. But it's working tonight. Shoe stepped out of bounds. Not, nothing there at that time. Desiree tried to make something on the baseline. I think she was either going to end up with a foul or what did happen, stepping out of bounds. Yeah, I think she ended up with what? Manakusa really getting burned inside. Boston getting a lot of good chances, just can't put it down. Again, Nakusa playing this box and one. Schubert got a hand on another one. That's like the fifth time tonight. Yeah, uh, she's blocked a lot of shots tonight. Amber Wolf to the basket. Gets it back, has it blocked. Caroms off to Daytona Bolton. Lexi got a hand on it. Schubert with a save. But nobody hustled after the basketball. Nakusa's just sort of got stuck watching that time. And Schubert made a heck of a play to keep that ball in bounds, but nobody there, nobody there to help her. They watched. They were cheering her on. I thought maybe Lexi uh, twisted a leg there too when she made that play at half court, but it, she seems fine. Corey with a steal. Corey had a lot of blocks, Tom. I agree with you. Uh, sloppy Mostyn passing too. Well, it helps. Yeah, we'll take that any night. 
Lexi off to Desiree. Tries to go inside the Coyer, tapped away. Yeah, and there, number 10 from Austin, that watched it go out of bounds instead of hustling after it. Well, she does look tired. Not you mention she does. <laughs> <laughs> so does number 12 from Austin. She looks very tired, number 12. Still early season, you know? What, what was the conditioning at, right? Elena Lowerson taken away by Lexi. End to end to action. Lexi's going to pull it out, get it to Schubert. Coyer inside, lost it, picked it up again. Now she's in trouble and she walks. No. Coach Linsmeyer takes a timeout. That, that was a good timeout. Very good timeout. Is that a full timeout? It is. 5.33 to play, 44-36, Nakusa. So Nakusa's got a brand new strategy now as they put the ball in bounds. 5.33 to play. We play two and a half minutes this quarter, and no one's made a shot. But they're getting a good workout. Desiree, and they're going to call a held ball. That's probably a good call. I don't think Coach Stensberg liked that call much from the Nakusa bench. Well, you'd have had to be a foul or a, a foul, a foul or a jump ball. So Austin with it, trailing by eight. And again, Lexi has done a marvelous job on Thomas here in this game. Hazelmeyer with the pick. Taylor missed the shot. Oh Thomas boy. with the rebound. Taylor, Taylor. Going the other way. Thomas goes behind the back. Lexi stays with her. That's a box and one for sure. Come on, hustle, hustle. Desiree Shu gets to that one, and she's bumped by Alyssa Voss will go to the other end for free throws. Team foul number eight now on the Golden Eagles. Boston finished two and eight in the conference last year. I think they're gonna do better this year. Like I said, boys and girls in that conference, I think, I think it's really wide open. I, I, it's just my opinion. Doesn't Desiree really misses. You know, it's so early in the season, there's like two or three conference teams that haven't even played yet. Offensive rebound blocked from behind by Coyer. I agree. I think it was blocked. Be yeah. Oh, Coyer inside. Can't get it off. Drops it off to Hazelmeyer, and she'll put it in. Finally, somebody cracks the scoreboard here in the fourth quarter. Thomas for the long three. She has nine points in the game, her first three ball. Oh. Hazelmeyer inside, does it again. Under four to play, and Akusa by nine. 48-39, good pass. Schubert with a block, draws the foul. Morgan Denton went up with a shot. And Schubert got a pretty good hand on the basketball, but I think she also maybe used the other hand on the body of the shooter, Denton. The sophomore shoots two. Looking for her first point of the night. Can't get the roll. Schuber with a rebound. Shoe ahead of the crowd, lays it down. 50-39, papers. 3.30 to play. I, I agree, Tom. I, I've, I, think, I think they've done a good job on Andrea. A very good job defensively. She hasn't even got many shots off. No. No. Well, you know, Mawson has done a good job of playing against that uh, four-person zone, though, too. They've moved the ball nicely, got some good looks inside. 
Anna Schubert picked up her third foul, team eighth. And the bonus again, or a bonus free throws for Morgan Denton, who just missed a couple of few seconds ago. She's a little bit closer on that second one. This third one, she should be right on. Ashley Mortel, a senior, enters the lineup for Nakusa. She wears number 13. One and one. See if Nakusa blocks off anybody here. The answer is no. But Sh uh, Schubert make that shoe with the rebound. Doesn't that ball look slow when they pass it? Like, like you could jump right in front of it? And Maybe you could jump in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi got it back. Pulls it out. Melvin hits the 10-footer. Mallory has six points in the game. Nakusa's biggest lead is 13 at 52-39. Three ball by Thomas. And the timeout parade begins now for Mauston as they use a full timeout here. I think you're going to see a press coming out of this timeout. 2.30 to play, 52-42 to Cusa. Santa Cusa with the basketball, 10-point lead. 150 seconds remaining in this ballgame. I was always good at math. Or so I thought. Yeah, Dan made a good comment a second ago off air about uh, Mauston maybe coming out to press, but they didn't. No, I really thought they would. I, you know, down, down by 10 was two minutes. is still attacking the basket, too. Hazelmeyer puts up the rebound. Taylor with a big basket. She's got eight points. Nakusa with nice balanced scoring tonight. Mauston living on that three-point line now. Lexi again, man to man on Thomas. Hazelmeyer made a good play on the ball there. Good anticipation. Shoe. Another miss by Mortel. She got it back though. And Lexi in control now with a minute 25 to play. 12 point advantage. Oh, Thomas with a good play. And Lexi's going to get the foul. Lexi tried to get that ball back. But Thomas beat her to it. We go to the other end for what will be a bonus throw. Yet that's Nakusa's ninth team foul. So we're still shooting the bonus, not two-shot foul. Mariah Teske back in. And Andrea Thomas sinks the first. Boy, that was smooth. That's the first made free throw tonight for. Yeah, you're right, Tom. For Austin. Austin. And there's the second. 54 44, minute 20 to play. Lexi beats the double team, kicks it back out. Shoe. Uh, Mawson Crow was right there. She did travel. <laughs> she did, yep. Nakusa trying to pull the basketball out now, run some clock. We're down to a minute to play. Schubert. Oh. Didn't really see the defenders there. Another bad pass. We're down to 50 seconds. Lexi. Hand it off to someone and come get it again, Lexi. Now go get it again. There you go. We're down to 35 seconds. Lawson just letting the clock run down. Yeah. Right. Tried to foul there. Didn't get a call. Lawson player takes a tumble. We're down to 20 seconds. Lawson might as well just sit down now because yeah. the game's over. 15 seconds. And now they foul. So I don't know. You got to try to figure out that strategy. 
You're only down 10. I, it's, I think it's worth a foul with a minute 20 to play. They end up fouling uh, over a minute later, and now Anna Schubert shoots the bonus. Anna's first points tonight. Nakusa and the had their hands red. Had a great night at the line. That was their 11th point from the free throw line. Compared to Austin's two. 10 seconds to play as Johnson brings it into the front court. Thomas fires the long three right in the face of Lexi that time. And with that, the horn sounds, and we've hit the end of this contest. Nakusa kicks off the conference schedule with a win. Glad to say, as they top Austin tonight, 55-47 here in the Nakusa gym. So the win, Nakusa now 2-1 and one on the season. And, of course, they are 1-0 and oh in conference play. Boston with the loss falls to one and one overall, and they are 0 and one in the South Central Conference. So congratulations to Scott Linsmeyer and Chris Densberg, the Nakusa coaches, on a fine win tonight. By the way, that's number 80 for Scott Linsmeyer over the past six seasons. Well, actually, for both of them, 80 wins over the past six seasons against only 42 losses. Quite impressive. So a good win tonight here in Nakusa. Quick scoring rundown for Nakusa. Lexi. Big night at the line. Eight free throws to go with four field goals. She finishes with 16 on the evening. Desiree Shue with a three ball. She has 11 points for the night. Brittany Ryan with a basket and two points. Taylor Hazelmeyer with eight points. Rachel Coyer with a three ball and seven for the evening. Anna Schubert with one. Mallory Melvin puts in six, and Haley Baker puts in four. So very balanced scoring for Nakusa. Same is pretty much true for Boston, as Mariah Teske puts in four. Michaela Teske puts in three that on a three ball. Carly Johnson leads the way. She had four threes and a field goal, 14 points for Johnson. Elena Lowerson has a field goal and two points. Katie Larson finishes with four. Daytona Bolton, the freshman, had a big third quarter. She got all six of her points in that third period. And Andrea Thomas, the all-conference performer and leading scorer last year in the South Central Conference, held intact a bit. She did come on into the second half, finishes with 14 points on the evening. Uh, Tom, for Mostyn, in the fourth quarter, they were 3 of 8 for 37%. For the game, they were 19 of 46 for 41%. Nakusa in the fourth quarter was 5 of 14 for 36%. And for the game, they were 21 of 54 for 39%. So both teams basically about the same shooting percentage. Nakusa just happened to have two more field goals than uh, Boston and free throws. They actually won it on the free throw line. Really did look like an early season game. I think both these teams, uh, as the season goes on, are going to get a lot better. Execution wasn't quite there. The shooting maybe wasn't quite there yet, but uh, I'll tell you what, a win's a win. And Akusa gets that tonight. They led 18 to 11 after a quarter, 28 25 at the half. Outscored Mostyn 16 to 11 in the third period, 13 to 11 in the fourth. Again, our final tonight Nakusa 57 and Mostyn. Make it Nakusa 55 and Mostyn 47. So we got one more ball game to bring you this week. We're going to be in the gym on Friday night when Nakusa boys play host to Mostyn. We'll be recording that ball game. You'll see it next Monday night and maybe other times on public access. Uh, again, the girls play at Blair Taylor this Thursday. Again, that ball game down at Blair Taylor, that will not be recorded for public access. It's going to wrap it up for us tonight. I want to thank Dan Schmidt and Jim Allen. They always do such a fine job for these broadcasts. My name is Tom Kirst. I want to thank you, the viewer, and invite you back next time for Nakusa Sports.